Say, Sam. Yes, sir. Uh, I sort of need somebody to do a little job for me. What kind of a job, sir? Well, uh, somebody who looks impressive and can talk a lot. You think maybe there's a passenger on the train who'd like to pick up ten bucks being a lawyer for a while? Uh, let me... Did you say lawyer, sir? Yeah, you, you know, somebody who can cite cases. Demand writs of habeas hocus pocus, you know. Well, sir, I've studied law by correspondence the past four years to improve my mind. And if I could be of service to you, sir. Are you long-winded? Good at objecting? I was a lawyer, isn't it? Sam, you got yourself a client. Yes, sir. Clause 9. Whereas, the party of the first part and the party of the second part have this day mutually agreed that insofar as each is concerned... Hey, excuse me, sir. <clears throat> as here and before provided, the aforementioned holdings, real and personal, held in fee simple and fee absolute, excluding escrow, except in cases of writ of cert to aurora, issued by courts of higher jurisdiction, remain ad majorum in status quo, including real properties held quid nunc majorum. <laughs> well, Thompson, I'm sure all such properties should be hypothecated. Uh, excuse me, sir? But in Indiana Supreme Court, Johnson versus Johnson, 1923, if I may cite a case in support of my contention, the ruling was versus hypothecation, completely versus. Well, Thompson, will you concede clause three in this brief? No. Well, what about clauses five and six? Will you stipulate as to those? We stipulate? No, sir. We don't stipulate. Now listen, Thompson. You heard what counsel said. Counsel must be conversing with the ruling in the Ames case, Wisconsin 1923. Uh, can I get you another sandwich, sir? No, I don't want any more sandwiches. No. I do. Yes, sir. If I may suggest, with counsel's permission, it might be wise if the part of the first part and the part of the second part arbitrated as a matter of person. Yeah, that's a good idea. Sure, Margo and I... Oh, can... no, you don't, Thompson. You don't see Margot unless I'm there to protect her interests. Okay. Proceed, counsel. Yes, sir. With the sandwich or the brief, sir? Uh-huh. With the sandwich. Yes, sir. <laughs> 